What's going on guys, Art here off the Dome Media Group. Uh, today is another busy day. Uh, sold another eBay item, so I have to run to, uh, hit, gotta hit the post office. And I have to hit uh, Office Depot. I need to get some ink for my printer so I can print the label. So it's a warm and toasty, uh, it's a brisk you can kind of see. Uh, but anyway, it should look cold. It's a warm and toasty nine degrees here in uh, in the Shire or in the Shire town. So anyway, uh, here we go. You're gonna love this. We just sell XL for the 902. It's supposed to be good though. Hmm? XL is supposed to be really good. I know, it's just, you know, I know. when, you try, you when you're trying to be cheap. That's so cool. All kind of everything. So here's yes, on. Can I hold it? Huh? Can I hold it? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my now, god. You, it's on. It's you on? Are you serious? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Office Depot. New employees. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, cancel. <laughs> How about that? You're gonna love this. Hey, Don. Hi, how are you? Good to you. Okay. Excellent. That was easy. What's going on, guys? Finally made it back in. Want to take some time out to sit down and talk about this AMA thing. So really quick, what prompted this video was a viewer by the name of Fireblade72 and posed the question, as a FAA-registered uh, hobbyist or recreational pilot, are you required to be a member of the AMA? And the short answer to that is absolutely not. Now, it would be in your benefit to, uh, it would be to your benefit, I should say, to register uh, with the AMA and become a member because there, there's a lot of, lot of benefits. They do advocate for the RC world, helicopters, planes, and so forth, but also the drone community also. So it's a, it's a, good, it's a good thing to do. Uh, the other part of the question was, uh, or the statement, is that uh, Fireblade registered or was a member I uh, was thinking about being becoming a member for insurance purposes only, which is fine. Uh, you still would get all the benefits and the perks that come along with the membership, but if that's what you wanted to do, that would be fine. And it's recommended. But is it required per FAA guidelines, rules, regulations, and so forth? Absolutely not. Uh, you do not need to be an AMA member if you are registered as a FAA hobby or recreational pilot. Now, obviously, it's in your best interest. Even the FAA regulations don't require you to have insurance, but uh, it's definitely to your benefit. If it's be it AMA, um, they provide the insurance uh, for you. Or if you don't want to do that, then there's also Verify. I did a couple of videos on that that I'll link in the description. So you have options. But again, it is not required for a recreational a hobbyist pilot that is registered with the FAA. It is not a part of the requirements for you to be an AMA member. It's recommended, but it's not required. So anyway, that's it. That's all I have for today. I want to keep it short and brief. I have a lot of stuff to do. I know you have a lot of things to do also. Thanks for checking in. Have a good day. Fly safe. Have a good night, depending on what time you're watching this, I should say. Peace.